with any business, there's always a risk that uh, it might go out of business or that something might go wrong. So this is an important area and it's unit one and you need to be able to describe the risks that are faced by businesses. There will be so many of these, but in general, there are some that are common to all businesses and explain what can be done to minimise the risk. Sometimes that's a six mark question as well. So you have to give quite a lot of detail in your answer explaining exactly how it can minimise risk. But we'll go over that. So key terms now, um, it shouldn't be a business plan, sorry about that, it's uh, just key terms. So the potential for loss is what risk is, so the, the chance that something bad might happen. Um, and in there we have a chance or uncertainty, so really not knowing what the future is going to hold or is what's going to happen. So um, risk is um, difficult to deal with for businesses because it might be something quite negative that's going to happen that's going to cost them money but they don't know whether it will happen or it won't happen so why do businesses take risks then why even engage in it in the first place well if you um, as you can see from this diagram here if you um, don't take any risk or minimize the risk uh, the likelihood is that there are a lot of other businesses that are using that business idea where it's low risk and so the reward the amount of profit that can be made from that is likely to be quite low um, so sometimes we say that when the risk levels increase we tend to get more reward but of course you get the the um the times where it's a really risky business and there's low reward or uh where there's low risk and there's there's quite a high amount of reward um but i mean that would be the ideal but it's likely that other businesses have already capitalized on that idea so sometimes the only um, way to make money in a certain market is by being a little bit more risky and trying to to get those higher rewards by operating here um, but the key thing is it's all about taking calculated risks so all businesses will need to take risk but what we want them to do is to minimize risk where possible so different types of risk firstly business failure so going out of business a lot of new businesses actually go out of business so one of the best ways I think of reducing that risk is having a business plan and think about all of those good qualities uh, that we went over in the business um, plan video looking at it helps the uh, owner the entrepreneur really think through how they're going to achieve their goals it gets them to identify any gaps in their plan and maybe plan for them it helps them to secure external finance uh, making it more likely that they'll be able to buy the resources that they need so business plans can be a whole area of how we actually minimize risk failed products so it might not just be that the business um, has failed it might be that a product hasn't done too well so Google very successful business but bought out Google Glass a while ago and did not take off in the way that they would have liked it to so how do we minimize that well we might it might be down to marketing and making sure that the market research is right so maybe doing some focus groups and asking people what they think of them so I, I personally if I would have been asked in a focus group about Google Glass you know I think I might have been able to say I don't think it's a great idea because it looks a bit funny and you know I, I think maybe if they'd have engaged a little bit more in um, market research it might have been beneficial but I'm, I'm sure they did do market research but maybe maybe they didn't get um, the right responses um, or um, having a wide variety of products so that if one product does fail or doesn't take off you've also got other products to um, to rely on so here um, are some of the different Google products um, that are out there all color coordinated there health problems at work so stress is a really big factor these days and people are, uh, especially in businesses are looking out more for the mental health of their employees because absenteeism can cost the business a lot of money um, you could if you haven't treated your workers in an appropriate manner you could get taken to court actually you have a legal responsibility to protect um, your employees and to make sure they have a safe working environment so um, occupational health so that's all assessing the health of the the actual site and making sure that um, employees 
are um, operating equipment appropriately that now that might be you know really heavy equipment so for example in a car manufacturing plant or it could be kind of more light equipment like um, you know if you're working in an office sitting at a computer but it's making sure that people have appropriate seats for when they sit at their computer and they have the appropriate backrests and um, that they have the appropriate number of breaks and those types of things as well and uh, it could be by providing information like this poster here provides information about helping people um, it could oh um, this I'm just looking at in terms of other ways that you can minimize risk so here um, it's just more about kind of financial um, risks um, and so you could have um, controls in place that mean that whenever um, the business needs to pay out money of a certain amount, two people have to sign for it so that you don't get employees stealing from the business. You could have um, risk in terms of just uh, natural disasters, fire, flooding, things like that, um, so that you have um, signs and warnings in place, especially around kind of electrical equipment and uh, things to put out fire. Ex uh, fire so fire extinguishers and warning signs when you're cleaning so that no one slips on um, a wet floor um, and you could make sure that you have the right staff with the right skills because I think the risk one of the risks when you're setting up a business is that you don't have the right people with the right skills so providing training for your employees as well is very very important um, so here are the specification objectives, and I think we've covered those things, but what's really important is when you're doing this exam, it's going to be linked to a case study. So read through that case study. There are some past paper examples of where they've asked questions about risk and how the business can minimise them. But read through that case study and highlight or underline the areas that you think, that's a risk, that's a risk. And then think for yourself, what could they do to minimise that risk? Because this is one of the areas in business studies where it's just basically a lot of common sense. So you can rely on the knowledge that you already have.